Investigators think they have the smoking gun, but they still can't prove how a small bit of ice could bring down a $200 million plane. They continue analyzing thousands of comparative flights to see what made Flight 38 unique. But after seven months, they still can't crack the case. From 35,000 Rolls-Royce powered flights, it was less than 1% that had the same features as the accident flight. Then, on November the 26th, 2008, more than 10 months after the crash, the importance of finding an answer is underscored when the elusive culprit strikes again. Another 777 runs into trouble 39,000 feet above the United States, when one of its engines simply stops working. Fortunately, in that case, the engine recovered and the aircraft landed safely at Atlanta. Even though it didn't result in an accident, it reinforces concerns that there's a potentially dangerous flaw on every 777 around the world. The incident captures the attention of the British Airways crash investigators. The Delta Shanghai flight really was investigated with huge interest. The engines were Rolls-Royce engines of the same type. So they immediately went looking for evidence of the same problem. And in fact, they do find important similarities between the Delta airliner and British Airways Flight 38. The aircraft had operated a long sector from Shanghai, China, to Atlanta. The fuel temperatures were within the sticky range that we had defined during the research. We were able to see that the reaction of the engine was very similar to that of the 777 at Heathrow. Later examination of the Delta flight shows no evidence of any electronic, mechanical, or fuel system problems, strongly suggesting that the culprit was indeed ice. When we heard about the Delta flight, we were more convinced than ever that we were on the right track. McDermott and the investigators at Boeing in Seattle continue their testing. It's been a year since the accident, and the problem hasn't been found or fixed. They've run hundreds of simulations and spent millions of dollars. 